हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रेड शिक्षण संस्था वेस्टर्न रीजन इंग्लिश मीडियम यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ टेन स्टैंडर्ड कुमार भारती टेक्स्ट बुक द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज 4.3 वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 25 लेट अस स्टार्ट द लेसन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द मीनिंग ऑफ हेरिटेज हेरिटेज मीन्स दैट विच इज वैल्यूड because of historical or natural or cultural importance here these world heritage sites are included under the unesco that is united nations educational scientific and cultural organization so let us see about the lesson first a world heritage site is a site determined by the united nations educational scientific and cultural organization that means in short unesco to have significant cultural or natural importance to humanity as such the sites are protected and maintained by the international world heritage program which is administered by the unesco world heritage committee because world heritage sites are places that are significant culturally and naturally they vary in type but include forests lakes monuments building and cities so here unesco have a significant cultural or natural importance for the humanity these places these sites which have the importance for the humanity that sites are protected and maintained by the international world heritage program and that program is administered by the unesco world heritage committee if you can see the sites which are shown in the picture here all that sites have some significance for the human being they are either naturally or historically or cultural culturally important for the human being if you have seen the first is the caste plateau which is naturally important the second one is the temple of kailas which is present in ajanta ellora caves then the third one is opera house of sydney and the next one is pyramids from egypt so these kind of places which have some significant that places are administered and protected maintained by the world heritage site next world heritage sites can also be a combination of both cultural and natural areas for example mount tuang san in china is a site with significance to human culture because it plays a role in historical chinese art and literature the mountain is also significant because of its physical landscape characteristics here world heritage sites can also be combination of both things that means it is culturally and natural areas also the example is given here of the mount yuangstan which is present in china it is significant for the human culture because it played important role in historical chinese art also and the mountain is also significant because of its physical landscape so it is important by cultural also and by natural areas also so here characteristics means distinguishing features or qualities of that particular place that means here the characteristics of the mountain yuan mount yuangsan let us see the next part history of world heritage sites although the idea of protecting cultural and natural heritage sites around the world began in early 20th century momentum for it actual creation was not until the 1950s in 1954 egypt started plans to build the aswan high dam to collect and control water from the nile river Now let us see the history of this world heritage sites how it started 
This idea of protecting cultural and natural heritage sites was began in the world in the early 20th century. But the speed or momentum for this actual creation was not until the year 1950s. The incident of Egypt is responsible for starting the World Heritage Site. What was that incident? See, in 1954, Egypt started plans to build the Aswan High Dam to collect the and control the water from the Nile River for their use. The initial plan for the dam's construction would have flooded the valley containing the Abu Simbel temples and scores of ancient Egyptian artifacts. To protect the temples and the artifacts, UNESCO launched an international campaign in 1959 that called for the dismantling and movement of temples to higher ground. The project cost an estimate United States $80 million dollars from that, 40 million dollars of which came from 50 different countries. Because of the project's success, UNESCO and the International Council on Monuments and Sites initiated a draft conventing to create an international organization responsible for the protecting cultural heritage. Here, some words are present. See the meaning of it. Scores of means plenty of or many. Artifact means any objects made by a human being. Dismantling means disassembling, pulling down. Initiated means began, started. So, when Egyptian people started to build that Aswan high dam on the Nile River, because of the dam's construction, the valley which contain Abu Simbel tem temples and so many or plenty of artifacts are Egyptian artifacts. That means objects made by human beings which have some historical importance that may flooded because of that water. To protect these temples and artifacts, UNESCO launched the international campaign in 1959. And that campaign was started for dismantling. That means disassembling these temples and moving from that place to higher grounds. This project cost total of 80 million US dollars. From which half amount that is 40 million dollars came from 50 different countries. These different countries help for this project. For dismantling, that means disassembling this temple, these artifacts, and remove move it to the higher grounds so that they can protect it for the new generations. So this program has got success, and after that, UNESCO and the International Council on Monuments and Sites have began started a draft convention to the to create an international organization responsible for the protecting of cultural heritage. You can see the symbol of UNESCO in the corner. Shortly thereafter in 1965, a White House conference in the United States called for World Heritage Trust to protect historic cultural sites but to also protect the world's significant natural and scenic sites. Finally, in 1968, the International Union for Conservation of Natural Development similar goals and presented them at United Nations Conference on Human Environment in Stockholm, Sweden in 1972. Following the presentation of these goals, the Convention Concerning the protection of world cultural and natural heritage was adopted by UNESCO's General Conference on November 16, 1972. So after the success of the project which was completed in Egypt, 
the white house conference in the united states was called for world heritage trust this trust was established to protect the historical cultural sites but to also protect the world significant natural and scenic sites also in 1968 the international union for the conservation of this nature developed similar goals and presented them the united nations conference on human environment which was held in stockholm after that for presenting all these goals the convention concerning the protection of world cultural and natural heritage was adopted by unesco and in the general conference which was held on november 1692 this world heritage trust was established now the world heritage committee today the world heritage committee is the main group responsible for establishing which sites will be listed as unesco world heritage site the committee meets once a year and consists of representatives from 21 state parties that are elected for 6 year term by the world heritage centers general assembly so here the world heritage committee is the main group which is responsible for establishing which sites will be listed in the unesco world heritage they cannot include all these sites which are present in the world but there are some specific terms and condition only that sites will be included in the world heritage committee this committee was consist of representatives from all 21 state parties and these people are elected for 6 years term by the world heritage centers general assembly the state parties are then responsible for identifying and nominating the new sites within their territory to be considered for inclusion on the world heritage list so the work of this world heritage committee is to include the new world heritage sites into the world heritage list half part of this lesson we have completed i hope you understood the remaining half part of this lesson we will continue in the next lecture up till then to revise and study at home thank you for watching